Hello and welcome to the Topic Master Series presented by Edgy Kingdom College. In this video, we'll be looking at area and the perimeter of 2D shapes. What is perimeter? Perimeter is essentially the border of a shape. As you can see, the border are all colored in pink here. The formula for perimeter is very simple. It's just adding all the sides of the shape together. For example, for a square, the four lengths are the same, so the perimeter of a square is going to be four times the length. Whereas for a rectangle, the two lengths, the two longer sides are going to be the same, and the two widths, the two shorter sides are going to be the same. So the formula for perimeter of rectangle is going to be two times the length plus two times the width. Triangle is just adding the three sides together. Circle is a bit special where we need to use pi. In this case, pi is going to be 3.14. The perimeter of a circle is also known as a circumference. So the circumference of a circle is going to be 2 times the pi times the shorter of the radius. Trapezium, the two sides are going to be the same. So the two c's are going to be times 2. And then we have to add the top and the bottom, so A and B. So the formula for perimeter for trapezium is going to be A plus B plus 2 times C. For parallelogram, the two sides, the opposite sides, are the same length. Therefore, it's going to be 2 times A plus 2 times B. Now let's have a look at some examples. For a square, we have a square here with a length of 6. Since the formula is 4 times the length, we have 4 times 6 gives us 24. So the perimeter is 24 centimeters. Whereas for a rectangle, we have a rectangle here with the width of 3 centimeters and a length of 7 centimeters. To work out the perimeter, we have to times 2 by 3 plus 2 times 7, which gives us 20 centimeters. A triangle here. The triangle here can be known as an isosceles, where the two longer sides are the same length. So we have 4 plus 4 plus 3 is going to give us 11 centimeters as the perimeter. Whereas for the circle here, we're trying to work at the perimeter, also known as the circumference. It has a radius of 5 centimeters. So we are doing 2 times pi, which is 3.14, times 5, which gives us 31.4 centimeters as the perimeter. For a trapezium here, the shorter line on top is 7 cm, the longer line at the bottom is 9 cm, and the length on the two sides are going to be 6 cm, so we have 9 plus 7 plus 6 times 2, which gives us 28 cm. Whereas a parallelogram here, the 12 and the opposite sides are going to be the same length, so we have 9 times 2 plus 12 times 2, which gives us 42 cm. Now moving on from perimeter, we're going to look at what areas is. What is area? Area is the amount of space within the shape. As you can see, the space between the shape is colored in pink here. The formula of area is very different to the formula of perimeter. For example, for a square, we're timesing the two lengths by each other. For a rectangle, we're timesing the length and the width together. Whereas for a triangle, we're doing half times the height times by the base. For a circle, we're going to be using pi again, which is 3.14, times by the radius squared. So radius times radius. Whereas trapezium, we're going to do a half times A and B added together, times by the height. And parallelogram is the same as the rectangle, which is going to be height times the base. Now let's have a look at some examples. We have a square here of 4 centimeters length. 4 times 4 gives us 16. So the area of the square is going to be 16 centimeters squared. Moving on to this rectangle. This rectangle has a length of 7 centimeters and the width of 5 centimeters. 5 times 7 gives us 35. So this rectangle is going to have an area of 35 centimeters squared. For this triangle, the height is 4 meters and the base is 6 meters. So following the formula, we have a half times 4 times 6, which gives us 12. Since the units are in meters, therefore the area is going to be 12 meters squared. Now moving on to the circle. The circle has a radius of 5 centimeters again. So we have pi times 5 squared, which gives us 78.5. Therefore, the area of the circle is going to be 78.5. Moving on to this trapezium. This trapezium has the height of 6 meters. The length at the bottom of the longer line is going to be 8 meters. 
a half times 4 plus 8 times 6 gives us 36. Since the units are in meters, it's going to be meters squared, so 36 meters squared. Lastly, for this parallelogram, 5 times 9 gives us 45, so the area is 45 centimeters squared. Now that we have learned the basic of perimeter and area, let's have a look at these two shapes here. These two shapes here aren't a perfect shape, so we can't classify as a rectangle or a square or any other. But how can we find the perimeter and the area of these shapes? Let's have a look at question 1. Question 1, let's find the perimeter. Again, perimeter is essentially just adding all the borders together. So we have the number on top, 15, plus 12, plus 10, plus 8. These are the numbers we're given, but how about the lines that we don't have? The first one here, horizontally, we can find out the border by doing some subtraction. We know that the length on top is 15 and the length on the bottom is 10, so we're going to have 15 minus 10, which gives us 5 centimeters. The vertical line here, since the length on the right is 12 and the length on the right on the left is going to be 8. 12 minus 8 gives us 4, so we know that that part is going to be 4 centimeters. Once we add all of them together, we have, have all our borders added and gives us 54 centimeters. Therefore, the perimeter is going to be 54 centimeters. There are two methods to work out the area. The first method being, we're going to add a part and make it into a perfect rectangle. We worked out earlier during perimeter to know that the length is going to be 5 cm and the width is going to be 4 cm. Now we can work out that part is going to be 20 m squared that we have added. Then we can just use the area of the bigger rectangle using 15 and 12 minus the part we have added. So we have 15 times 12 minus 5 times 4 which gives us 180 minus 20. Therefore the area can be 160 cm squared. The second method is we're going to cut the shape in half and make two rectangles. So I have the rectangle on top with a length of 15 centimeters and a width of 8 centimeters. I can times them together to give me the area of that rectangle, which is 120. And then I can work out the smaller rectangle by using the length of 10 centimeters and the 4 centimeters of width that we worked out earlier, where 10 times 4 gives us 40. All we have to do is add them together. 15 times 8 plus 10 times 4 gives us 120 plus 40, which also gives us the answer of 160 centimeters squared as the area. Now moving on to question 2 on the right here. Again for perimeter, we just have to add all the sides together. You can see these two lines are parallel lines and they also have the same length. So we know these two are going to be 21 centimeters. And then the four lengths on the sides are also the same. So we have 10 centimeters, 10 centimeters, 10 centimeters, and another 10 centimeters for all of them. All we have to do now is add them all together. So I have 21 times 2 plus 10 times 4, which gives us 42 plus 40, which gives us an answer of 82 centimeters as the perimeter. Now moving on to area. For area, we can simply cut the shape in half and realize that there's going to give us two parallelograms that are identical to each other. Now working out the area of a parallelogram using this formula, height times base. Since the height of the two parallelogram combined gives me 10 centimeters, in order for me to find one, I can divide it by two and find five centimeters. And then I can find that one parallelogram is going to be five times 10, and there's two of them, so times two again. So we know that one parallelogram is going to be 105 centimeters squared. Since there's two of them, I times it by two, which will give me 210 centimeters squared. Therefore, the area is going to be 210 centimeters squared. Once we have learned about more complicated shapes, let's have a look at some word problems. This word problem says Andrea has a trapezium shaped backyard with the shorter side being 10 meters long, the longer side being 16 meters long, the sides being 5 meters long, and the height of 4 meters. She wants to make it into a dog park for her dog. Part A says she needs to build a fence around the yard so she bought 30 meters of wood. Will she have enough to fence the whole backyard? If not, how much more does she need to buy? Part B says how big is the dog park going to be? Part A is essentially just asking us to find the perimeter and see if it's bigger or smaller than 30, whereas Part B is asking us to find the area of the dog park. 
Our first step should be drawing out the dog park. The shorter end is 10 meters, the longer end is 16 meters, with the two sides being 5 meters and the height of 4 meters. The perimeter is just adding all the sides together, so we have 10 plus 16 plus 5 plus 5 for the both sides, which gives us 36 meters. 36 meters is greater than 30 meters, so she will not have enough. 36 minus 30 equals 6 meters, therefore she needs 6 more meters of wood in order to fence around the whole backyard. Part B asks for us to find the area. The area of a trapezium can be worked out by half times A plus B times by height. In putting the numbers into the formula, we have a half times 10 plus 16 times 4. We work out what in the bracket first, so we have half times 26 times 4, which gives us an answer of 52 meters squared. Therefore, the dog park is going to be 52 meters squared big. That is it for this video. Check out more English and maths content by exploring our channel.